Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlaws.com and today I'm bringing a highly requested video. If you entered my giveaway and looked at some of the other comments, you will have seen that people want to see flip throughs of my album, especially my first album. Now, most people's first albums are 12 by 12, but actually when I was in elementary school, I got to go to a scrapbooking like summer camp. So this is my first album, 6x6 album, post-bound, uh, Kane Company. Really beautiful, actually. I was trying to see if it had a, like, a date on the album, but it does not. But this is designed by Brenda Walton, so beautiful little 6x6 album. Now I will say I did look through this beforehand because I wanted to make sure there wasn't any, like, pictures that shouldn't be on the internet or whatever, but... We're good to go, but I will say this is very, very... I was in elementary school when I made this, so let's just get that done right now. Um, which would have been in the... I don't remember what year I went. I would have asked someone, but no one else could remember when I went either. I would guess maybe... When did I... When was I in kindergarten? Maybe 2007? Maybe? We're gonna go with that. So this is my first album. It does not have any rhyme or reason. Um, just random photos my parents gave me that were duplicates of like the ones we had. This was pre like digital, super digital cameras. So, so much fun. I'm not gonna spend too much time cause there's not a lot of explanation to go here. Um, this one's blue with a lot of punches. I was really into punches. Um, this beautiful sticker. A little bit of journaling there. That's me. Some more stuff. I was really obsessed with these gold letter stickers. I still have them actually. Um, I pulled them out but they're deep in my uh, stash. Some a baby picture. I used some stamps. A throwback. I had stamps. I still have these stamps as well. I believe I... Nope. Nope. I do not have these stamps. I gave them to my cousin. So I don't have these stamps, but I do remember them. They were annoying. <laughs> we have some fruit stickers, some nice, uh, the marker action. Yes, remember all the marker pages? We used to do so many things with markers. I'm wondering if the adhesive stood up. Oh yeah, it's still stuck on there. I'm pretty surprised about that. Some more punches, some corner rounding. I did eventually, after like the course of the summer, I did end up getting some punches. I bought some cat stickers. These have no relation to each other, but they're cat themed, so some more pictures, glittery heart stickers, some beautiful cutout photos, I must say. Working with 6x6, I, I remember a little bit of this summer camp, not a huge lot, but uh, working with 6x6, you had to cut down your photos a lot. This was also not winter, this was Easter, but we're wearing our winter coats, so I got a little confused, okay? More punches, lots of punches. I did pretty good at picking the background colors though, like gold, so I picked the yellow, tree, green. This one looks pretty good. Um, some Christmas photos, at least they're both Christmas photos. We got some more glittery stickers, some more... I just wrote who it was right next to him. You'll see there's no layering, just stickers <laughs> and a picture. I'm pretty sure this is the, like, the same photo, I just cut it in half for some reason. Ooh, a metal charm, that's new. This is, I wrote the same thing twice. <laughs> Ooh, some foam stickers. Beautiful. Ooh, the crimp machine. We did a crimping class once. The water warm. I wish, I was really young when I made this. I'd like to reiterate, the water warm is not a full sentence. And I'm sorry if you can hear the construction across the street. They're building a new house. And again, we have another one. Here's me in a picture of snow and here's my brother and my cousin at a wedding. Why? <laughs> Why does this go together? This is painful. Camp. This one's really cute. Other than the non. I'm pretty sure they gave us paper cutters. I don't know why it's a trapezoid, but we have some die cuts. Foam. Oh, this page is scrappier scraps if I ever did see some. So you can even see my adhesive sticking out, but I'm just using up some scraps on that one. Oh, remember the chalking? I still have my chalk that I used on this layout. Um, I used this paper and made like chalk marks. Caitlin is opening Christmas presents. That is correct. That is me. <gasps> I remember getting that Barbie Pizza Hut set. And I remember that Barbie Strawberry set. Don't remember getting those smoothies. But I do know that I don't like smoothies now. 
Really cute double page spread, three photos, not bad. But definitely the chalk thing used to be a thing, not a thing anymore. Oh, lots of heart stickers, wow. That's a lot. Can you guys see like the glitteriness of them? I hope you can. Another one, me and my brother. Cute. I still have these stickers as well. <laughs> this one, I'm really proud of this page. I did like some cool color blocking. Color blocking, that's what we did learn about color blocking. That's why these two are like this. And I did some punching for the title. Don't know why I didn't do it all the way across. It's fine. More color blocking. Really proud of these blues and greens and the pinks and purples. Makes sense. Really cute. Color blocking. Color blocking. We're learning a lot about color blocking. This O is sideways. Um, more crimping. There's a lot going on. But these gold letter stickers, once I had them, I would not let them go. Ooh, a tennis ball. That's cute. A page that wasn't really finished, but here's my brother throwing a baseball and here's my dad on the couch. You know, just simple things. More, I have the same photo in this album. Shall we go back? Oh, there it is. There it is again. Why did I do this? Oh, here come the punches. I got some punches for like my birthday or something since it was a summer camp. And there's foam adhesive dimension. This one from a trip in Virginia, gold marker. That's interesting. Also proud of this page. I made a flag out of paper. Pretty impressive. This one I'm still confused about because I cut out just a part of this picture. A, a brad with a tag. Very interesting stuff. This is so much of a throwback. We have some ribbon and some brads and then my title's on the ribbon. Who remembers the swirl punch? I still, no, do I? I love this punch. It did uh, break on, it like wouldn't punch anymore, so that's also embarrassing. Don't worry guys, we're almost to the end. I know this is awful, but you guys wanted to see how bad my free scrapbook was. Here it is. Um, some more stuff. I cut out this S by hand apparently. More flop. I love flowers. There's like two pieces of foam under this piece and it does not hold it up. More pictures. Good color schemes. I already scrapbooked that photo as well. And last but not least, my brother's first communion. But I had communion stickers, so it all makes sense. If I had to pick my favorite layout from my first ever album, and don't worry guys, I'm going to show you a more up-to-date finished album as well, but I thought this one was funny. If you'd like to see more 6x6 albums, I do have one more. I don't know if I either went back to the summer camp or what, but I have another 6x6 album. I don't think it's finished, but... It'd be fun to see, but this is probably my favorite page. I love the photo. The color blocking looks superb, and then I did it. It all matches, so. You guys wanted to see this um, for some reason. <laughs> I bet you guys didn't know that I made this when I was in grade school. I mean, it's pretty advanced stuff, like a crimper. That's high tech back then. <laughs> um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, if you guys want to see more <laughs> flip throughs of some of my old albums. I'd be happy to do so. They're quite embarrassing. So if you have any questions about this or want to know more details, please let me know in the comments. But that's one album down. I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to comment um, for what all the videos you want to see and subscribe if you're new here because I'd love to have you watch all the videos and learn some new techniques. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!